Welcome back. Give this next woman a look from a magazine and she can mimic it without spending practically anything. Dina Eunice is a fashion blogger from dinasdays.com and she always brings some really interesting things into the studio because you find ways to get these celebrity looks and we are sometimes spending probably like $20 at most. It, it just depends, yeah. but you can get some really good deals. Oh yeah, and I've been thrifting lately, so I brought four outfits with me today that are inspired by runway styles. Um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of the things that we've been seeing uh, on the runway and in magazines for spring. Um, and so I think I've shared the tip on the show before is that you want, always want to shop with an idea in mind because it really mm -hmm. helps you hone in and focus on an outfit or a style so then you're not walking around aimlessly. So that's what I did for these four outfits. Awesome. Let's start with our first look that we've seen on the runway and then well, the floral beautiful look. That looks gorgeous. Yes. Oh, this is my absolute favorite. It's this pastel kind of feminine floral prints. Um, and so that's just, that screams spring. So what I brought with me today um, are just different ways that you can incorporate this trend going to the thrift store. So you'll always find these colors. And I think a lot of times people are intimidated to wear pastels because they feel like an Easter egg. It kind of washes sure, them out. Washes you out. Mm -hmm. So there are two ways you can do this. I paired it with a bold, bright top. Um, and that way it's not the pastel is not the focal point Absolutely. and then another way you could do it is just use a pastel accessory so you could do like um, a clutch with some pastel trim or shoes or a bag or even a scarf love that and, and I like the mint the, the greener color guess how much that shirt was how much was the shirt 75 cents no I thought she was good I was like where are you going with this Dina 75 is getting up there 75 cents yeah so that's the key thing too is that you really want to research the deals that your local thrift that's stores have crazy. so I like to go on 75 cent day or dollar day wow it's okay all right I'm excited now for this next look then if that's what you're giving me on the first one <laughs> How about this one? Let's go to the actually, I'm yeah. getting all excited. Let's go to the picture first on the runway. Okay, so white on white is such a sophisticated, clean, chic trend for spring. And you, anybody could do this because white is readily available. You can buy it at a thrift store all the time. So the key thing um, is to make sure your top and bottom whites are the same exact shade. But to keep it interesting, you can add texture. So I added like a crochet top. This shirt was three dollars. The, the pants were six. <laughs> Are you kidding so, me? <laughs> so yeah, just add different texture. It keeps it really interesting. Keep the shades the same, so then it's fresh and clean and and, and streamlined. Looks fabulous. Oh, I love this. Okay, moving on to this one. Let's go to the look. Yes. Yeah, so this is a picnic plaid. This I think is a timeless print. Um, it's called gingham and. Uh, it's so easy, like you don't really have to do anything with it. It's the perfect summer or spring trend. I added a necklace, you don't even really have to. Stick with sort of the white or blue or red and, or red and white, um, and you could just throw on wedges or flats, and if you wanted to throw on a jacket, you could. And this is a 90s Calvin Klein dress that I got for $3. Mm -hmm. $3. And I love it. So it's 90s. So it's 90s inspired. Yeah. This, and yet it is still in the oh, yeah. print. Yeah. And, and that's the cool thing about thrift stores. It's fashion is constantly re repeating itself. So you'll always find the older styles and then you can kind of make them your own and um, incorporate them into your wardrobe. And because fashion is always changing, you're not spending a ton of money on these key items. And then you, you're not, you don't feel bad when they might go out of style again and then you can exactly. just yep. move keep, on. Keep, keep on rotation. All right. <laughs> Last look on the runway. Okay, fringe. So fringe is a lot of fun because it adds movement to an outfit. And so this was part of a two-piece suit that I just pulled apart and now kind of wear it as a crop top with layered over a dress. This was like $3. The dress is express. It was 5 And so um, if, if you don't want fringe to be the focal point of your outfit, if it's a little loud for you, use like a fringe scarf or a fringe bag. Um, or if you wanted a lot of fringe, you could do a fringe skirt or a dress, kind of like a roaring 20s vibe. Um, but this is everywhere. It's been in every magazine lately. So this, what I love about this too is that you've taken a, a tube dress it's strapless yes and you put this on top of it and I'm sure there are so many of us who have those strapless dresses in our closet and sometimes you you know it's not it's too soon to wear them or you just aren't yeah. a fan of them as much anymore putting something like this on top of it I would never think to do and yeah it looks it, great it, that way you can make the most out of your wardrobe I've actually worn this dress with this shirt that I'm wearing today on top of it yeah so this you know you can wear them so and many how much did ways. you say we got this for the shirt was about three and the dress was six I or mean, five the dress was five come on <laughs> and there's an event coming up too that you have. Yeah, so Goodwill of Greater Cleveland is having their annual fashion show next Thursday, which is May 7th, and they've invited uh, local bloggers, including myself, to style an entire runway collection using thrifted items, and mine is inspired by underwater, so it'll be a lot of mermaid and fish vibe uh, going on, lots of really 
uh, blues and greens, lots of fun colors. It's going to be great. What a great event. Thank yeah. you so much for being yeah, here. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's great really to cool ideas. And again, you're paying nothing, which is absolutely fabulous. Okay, if you have